Here's how you can download and install Iguana on a Linux machine through the terminal. First things first, once you are in the machine, you will need to update the libraries that are needed to start the Iguana service. So we'll go ahead and do those three commands. Before we download the Iguana files, we do want to create separate folders to separate the configuration files from the installation files. So we'll go ahead and make those directories. So within that Iguana 615 folder, I'm going to create a working directory. That will essentially store all of your configuration files. So now we'll go ahead and download that Iguana Linux installation file from our dl.interfaceware.com website. So I'm just going to grab that command. So now that we see that we have the zip file downloaded, we can go ahead and unpack the tarball. So I'll go ahead and add that command. And then what we'll do is to move that unzipped extracted files into our Iguana 615 folder. So can we can see that in our Iguana 615 folder, we do have our installation files, which is under the interface where Iguana, and then we do have a separate folder for our working directory. So now we'll actually go into our installation folder to edit the Iguana underscore service.hdf file to point to our working directory. So let's see D into the installation folder. And then we are going to go ahead and edit the iguan underscore service.hdf file. So we're just going to edit the command line. The working directory will be the path of where your working directory is. We'll go ahead and save that. And now we can try running Iguana as a service. So if we actually CD into the working directory, and if we were to list the files that are 
in the working directory, you can see that the configuration files have been generated. And we'll go ahead and see if our login page does pop up and Iguana is ready to be licensed. And as you can see, I did, I am able to access Iguana. Once I log in, it is ready to be licensed.